nowadays, as more and more of us are spending more time at home or working from home, you're more probable you're going to hear squirrels during the daytime in your roof, in your ceiling. So that's typically what homeowners will describe to us is they'll hear a pitter patter or running noise as squirrels run back and forth in an attic space. And that typically occurs early morning and then throughout the daytime. Squirrels are active uh, during the daytime and tend to sleep for the most part throughout the evening. Of course, you as a homeowner need to be diligent. You need to take a look, walk around your home, see if you're seeing evidence of squirrels. In northern climates, you may see tracks or paw prints going up your roof line or, or across your roof. Of course, on your roof, looking at the typical entry points, whether it be roof fence on your roof that could be chewed. Uh, you could see a nice hole where they chewed through that. The fascia board, uh, that's the board the eaves trough is attached to. There may be some chewing or gnawing on that board as uh, the squirrels chew their way into your attic space. Go up into the attic, you may see trails in the insulation. You may even be lucky and catch a squirrel running around in an attic space, but that doesn't happen too frequently. You could see chewing on electrical wiring, which of course is a real fire hazard. Chewing on uh, support joists. Squirrels are rodents, so just like a beaver, which is a rodent, their teeth are constantly growing. And to keep those teeth at proper length, they need to chew and they chew for recreation. So, you know, noticing any damage like that when you're in the attic space is a good sign as well. As a homeowner, get out frequently, once a month, take a walk around your home, look up onto that roof space. You know, it's not out of sight, out of mind. Take a look up there, especially uh, as we get into the mating season, January, February, because once they start mating, 45 days later is the onset of babies. And babies can be very difficult to get them out, very time consuming, uh, of course more costly for you as a homeowner. So if you're hearing noises, don't delay, give Skedaddle a call, but we can get out there, give you a written proposal, letting you know exactly what we will do to solve your problem, as well as what we would recommend to animal proof your structure. So once again, thanks for uh, tuning in and take care of your property.